Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. This is RPG Maker Chrono Engine ABS Mode Tutorial Part 7. And this time I'm going to teach you a new skill and tell you something about the casting time. First, let's just talk you what about casting. And inside the plugin manager, there's a parameter called Cased animation, and that means when you use the spell and you got some time for casting, and you show the animation, and I use the animation 120, and later I'll tell you how to use the cased. And how to use that was really simple just open your database and find your skill. And this time I use a sounder. And if you want to use some casting, just put some speed over here. And if you make this speed bigger, then the casting will last for longer. And this time this is 2 ID6. That means this tool. And later I'll show you about these tools. Now let's take a look at the tools. And as you, as you just saw, it was skill. And now this time we add something more. We add this too. The first one means um, if your players is over here and when you use the skill, the attack would be right over here, 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 and here at the four directions up, down, left, and right and as for the multi-hit I think it was quite simple it was just literally so you can hit multiple times and now let's take a look at the root when I use this sounder I want an effect it was it'll make a circle around the player and it will go further and further and further so just take a look first I uh, just have a sound effect and then move one step forward turn left and move more step forward turn left move even more step forward and turn left and every time you make a turn just add one more step forward so you make a circle and the circle will be bigger bigger and bigger now let's just take a look at it this is the skill I just created it was called sounder and when I use it this is the animation for casting and after casting you'll see the sounder you'll make a circle around the player is this cool? Well, it's quite cool. And this is the end of this tutorial. If you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe. And wait for the next tutorial.